particular play. Trips to the near side. Phillips the lone back on second down and four. And a quick throw to the far side, and that was covered well. Jonathan Mingo, the true freshman wideout out of Brandon, missing in the air right now. Yeah, I loved what he said, and I loved when Taylor asked him the question. Virgil, the quarterback for Southeastern, going to hand off off left tackle. Shake and bait, 30, and down at the 31-yard line. That's their leading ball carrier, Devontae Wood. Mirror in the car. No. First turnover from that Land Shark defense, and of course, new defensive coordinators. You met it rip, and right there, more again on the receiving end of that corral pass. Oh. Jump cut, move inside traffic for Scotty Phillips to pick up a couple. On the same page so quickly, said so they've known each other for a while, playing in all those off-season camps, seven on seven. That's a fumble, and it's going to be right into the hands of Southeastern. Scotty Phillips dropped it, and it's scooped up by Southeastern Louisiana. That's number 91, Isaac Adeyemi Berglund. Senior made a nice play there. You just see Phillips gets the ball jarred. Adeyemi Berglund was the one that jarred it. Yeah, just take a look. Adeyemi Berglund does a great job holding the edge there, Mike, and then he's able to swat at the ball, and it just pops out of Phillips' hands. Covers it, nice play. Great play. On first down, off the turnover. Pass caught in the flat by Devontae Williams, the running back. Robin Robertson alone of Southeastern. Quick slant with some blockers ahead and past the 20. First down yardage for Austin Mitchell, the top wide receiver on the squad. He'll Bryce Broussard on for what amounts to a chip shot field goal here, 30 yards out. Snap and holder good, and so too is the kick. Lions on the board, 6-3 our score. Well, and the one thing he said yesterday, we have got to stop the run. Good first down run here for Devontae Williams. Even in the loss to Memphis out of the NFL. Inside run for Phillips, that is stacked up right near the line of scrimmage. Jammed up well by that front four of southeastern Louisiana. And, and that is, of course, going in the first round to the Seahawks. I thought A.J. Brown spectacular. Volleyball action. It's for downs. Third and 15. Corral under hot pursuit. Taps and fires deep and incomplete. That was underthrown because he had a man. He had Elijah Moore right in the middle of the field. He just tried to get too much out of the play again, trying to get the ball deep to Gregory. Ed Morris now has said, okay, he's my guy. On first down, Virgil is the guy. Taps and fires. There's a man wide open, and it's just off the fingertips. Holy cow, you could not have been more wide open. Mike, you're not going to get a lot of opportunities against the Ole Miss defense because they play a single high safety a lot of the time. And right there, Austin Mitchell gets by. I just believe doable. Ole Miss has yeah. been happy to make that switch. Good pressure on the punt. This will be flagged down at the 30. Going the wrong way. Now inside the 20. At the 15 is finally brought down is Elijah Moore. Hagan bringing him back twice. And you know you used to get away with that a lot more, but now opposing coaches tell referees to look for it, to not let them get away with it. Scotty Phillips. Yeah, pretty remarkable. That's when T. Martin led the Tennessee Volunteers in the national championship. That's right. There was another team that went 12-0. And that was architect. Impressive. I like how this offense is kind of growing and really kind of percolating around Matt Corral. Empty backfield on third and eight. Corral under all kinds of pursuit. Buys time, throws it short. Intended for drum and great. Punt by Mac Brown. Hauled in inside the 20 and breaking free is Williams. Williams shaking back at the 35. And lowers the shoulder and staggers forward to the 42 yard line. A 39 yard punt. A 25-yard return. We think it's Southeastern. Coach Selfo, to be able to get him, that was a steal. That's a great hire for that program. That has seen better days of late. Schwabel with another reception. It's an America, number one. On 
third down. Perfect throw and catch. Completed to Devontae Williams for a first down. Virgil right on target. Backer position, put the extra heat on Virgil. On first down, Virgil play action. Rifles one complete over the middle. Absorbing the blow and holding on at the 15-yard line. That's Petit Ferrer. Petit Ferrer might have the most speed of all their receivers, Mike. And right there, Virgil puts it right on his back shoulder. Had he led him, he might have gotten a few more yards. But what speed does, it creates more opportunity and more space for the offense. And Petit Ferrer, you got to respect his deep threat ability because they went after him in the first quarter on a deep ball. You hit on the key word, speed. That defines this offense for Southeastern. Run to the outside by Cooper, turning on the Jets and turning it into the end zone for a touchdown. There's some more speed. The 5'8", 170-pound sophomore, Marcus Cooper. Well, Marcus Cooper might be, you know, it's really 1A, 1B in their backfield, and Cooper just takes a little counter handoff from Virgil and I'm been telling you what he scoots in the end zone talked about speed a moment ago that that is more blazing speed by the Lions the Lions made that touchdown drive look easy five plays 57 yards and just over two minutes of work An extra point good to make it a three-point game Coach Frank Selfo happy with the way things are going so far in this first half. We got a ball game. It's a more fantastic play from the defense. It's not been a sharp start on the defensive side as Ely already returned one for a score. Popped and dropped this time. And it's really targeting. That's a clear sign. And that is a huge call, not only in this game. As they pick up a couple on first down. It's Ely again. Keep but I think they've come a long way in that process of making sure they get it right because it is such a punitive penalty if it holds up. This time, nowhere to run for Ely. He's lassoed out of bounds. So that'll be a loss on the play. Dick is on the way. Fading left, and it hits the upright. No good. This game might be tied up. Instead, it's a 10-point deficit for Southeastern. Folks from Hammond, Louisiana, the Southland Conference. Pass caught by Austin Mitchell. These two teams met off a little bit. And again, one thing the coaching staff told us about Jason, he's not going to be in awe of his surroundings. He's played at Tiger Stadium before. He's started at Fresno before. Defensive coordinator for Cal, who is Ole Miss's next opponent next week. On second down, big hole between the tackles for Devontae Williams. That'll be a first down. Taylor Davis, what do you have? He has been with the same head coach in the same offensive system. The three years at Fresno State, he had to adjust every year. So he's comfortable now, he's confident, and he's excited about what this team can do this year. Taylor, great point. Obviously, that speaks, Tom, to his adaptive. Are similar in many ways, but a lot of the verbiage and just how they call plays are different. Virgil steps up in the pocket on second down and delivers a strike. That'll be first down yardage. In the plus territory, complete to Austin Mitchell. Right. That was the hard part. On second down. Give to Marcus Cooper. Marcus has a head of steel when he gets the ball. I mean, he just explodes to the hole. Yeah, and the benefit, Mike, just to tag that. No, I did not. <laughs> Fourth down. They're going to go for it. A little bit out of the field goal range of Broussard. Virgil. Flushed out, throws over the middle, complete to 25-20, and that's going to be a first down. Big time play by the senior Virgil to hit his all-conference tight end, Branson Schwabel, 11 yards and a first down. Here we're going to have Miles Hartfield, and you also have the linebacker, Sam Williams. Two guys coming and puts a ton of pressure on Chase and Vigil, and I'll tell you what, just... That's great defensive play calling here by McIntyre. Second effort run by Williams to the pylon. Touchdown. What a play by Devontae Williams. 20 yards for the score. And again, the Lions pull within one score. Well, he gets the ball to the pylon. That's great, great effort 
by Devontae Williams. And I believe he does not step out of bounds. They're going to take a look at it either way, but he extends the ball to the pylon. Now, I'll tell you, that score in their week one victory over Jacksonville State, a dominating program at the FCS level, that got my attention. Interesting game and some would have thought. How about the run here by Devontae Williams? Well, he breaks that initial line of contact. Great second effort to the corner. Devontae Williams to the score for the Lions. An SEC venue, Ole Miss fresh off that convincing win against Arkansas. And here is that man again, Jerry and Ely. First time he's been bottled up, the full plus what it would be like. And, uh, Southeastern is turning on the heat. Ole Miss is going to have to work for everything today. Scotty Phillips banged down for a loss of one. Big number 95, Ronald Cherry knifing in on the stop. Corral, over the middle, in and out of the hands of Elijah Moore. Might have led him a little bit too much on that one. Happens down that middle of the defense. Ole Miss, three of six on third down, and that one is thrown in a whole lot of traffic. Ill-advised toss there, and over to Pellerin, the tight end. You see him setting it up. I don't believe they're going to call interference on that because it happened behind the line of scrimmage, so the defense can do in their game plan against this Ole Miss defense. Four-man rush on first down. Virgil going deep. One-on-one -on -one coverage. And the catch is reeled in one-handed. What a grab by C.J. Turner, who was shadowed on the play by Hartsfield and still made the grab for 38 yards. Boy, Turner does a great job. He's got man-on-man -on, -man on the outside. And he just attacks the ball. And the ball is delivered right on time. It just is out of the reach of productivity and they've been able to do that with Ely and they've been able to recruit very well under Matt Luke that is something that has not changed with the coaching change Matt Luke now in his third One allegations numerous violations and really what it was it came down to some improper cash payments I once wrote a, a five-page term paper I was pretty proud of my efforts but I, and the NCAA has got one up on me in that regard CJ Turner on the grab 13 seconds now remaining in the first half. Well, and what the Lions are trying to do now, give yourself a chance. If you get points on the board before the end of the half, there's, there's analytics that say, number one, it gives you some momentum. And Frank Selfo knows how important it is to just have a little extra momentum going into halftime. On second down. Pass complete, 45, broken tackle, and then out of bounds. Nice play by Javon Connor. Matt Luke would know a thing or two about that. The former center for Ole Miss. Swing pass to Phillips, bottled up. That'll be a loss on the play. This is game. It re really has been, and, and credit Matt Luke. That's his great, best recruiting job he did in the month of January. The other thing that... And then taking Virgil down on the sack. Six tackles for loss for that Ole Miss defense, which came in averaging nine. Pass complete in traffic. Nice move at the 30, and weaving his way to the first down is Austin Mitchell. After catch for Austin Mitchell. He's in the slot. He ends up coming down. He does a nice job breaking in front of Dante Evans, a linebacker, and grab From the 33-yard line. Flare pass out near side. And right near the marker, Devontae Williams before he's last out out of bounds. Right there. Some guys just have a knack. Jacquez Jones, the last couple of games, has definitely had that knack. Second and eight underneath. D cleater, ball comes loose. The lead southeastern touches tackling. Third down and three. Over the middle, complete. Right in the area of Jones. Petit Ferrer, another reception. Petit Ferrer having a nice game so far. Julius and Haynes had their hands on that pass. Second down, 10 yards to go. Going deep ball. Has a man. Right into the bread basket. Touchdown. Beautiful play to Petit Ferrer. Perfect throw. And Petit Ferrer. Got behind the defender for 45 yards and a score. Really adept at is throwing the deep ball. Petit Ferrer lines up behind the other receiver. So he gets a clean release, which is all important there on that deep ball. Timing is perfect. You won't find a better throw. Virgil 
right over the shoulder into the waiting hands of Petit Ferrer. Southeaster not going away. We saw was Petit Ferrer lining up and really what he's able to do is get a clean release, Mike, and he takes off and goes to the house. The ball is perfectly thrown, laid in, on time, on target. And, and that's really in the middle of the field and really was never a factor. He won that foot race from the jump. As you mentioned, free release and foot speed taking over. Corral surveys, hit as he throws. That's a loose ball. Ole Miss will scoop it up. And down at the two. Senior out of Nova Scotia. Well, Demi Berglund went out a few moments ago. He was banged up, but he comes off the edge. Not Dari th trips to the far side. Virgil throws underneath. Tunnel screen, breaking outside is Mitchell. Mitchell wrestled out of bounds at the 30, and it'll be punt time for Southeast. Moore back to receive the punt for Ole Miss. Signals fair catch, and reels it in at the 25-yard line. 45-yard punt, no return. Oh, you're not playing ball, son, and that will get anybody's attention. Corral into coverage. Drummond was draped on the play. That was Rebels. Corral out of the shotgun. Southeastern sending five on the rush. Corral finally feels the pressure, and that is a loose ball. Fumble on the play. Corral should have just ate it. Instead, careless with the football. Joshua Carr on the heat, and Southeastern will now take over inside the Ole Miss 10. Is making a turnover, and they only rush four. And boy, they get a great rush, and then the ball comes out, and Corral not protecting it. Now first down to the ground. And a pickup of a couple for Devontae Williams. Corral. I'm sorry, it was 11 points, but yeah, I was thinking eight and then your three but yeah i i agree completely mike a te another teaching moment that's just a mistake you cannot make and there's a mistake on defense a touchdown for the tight end schwabel you knew they were going to look for number 88 the all-conference tight end they'll go for two and try to make it a field goal game well i tell you what schwabel is just a great target you know all of a sudden if he's he's mismatched against Lakia Henry. I don't think Henry played a different challenge. I don't know what his 40 time is, but he looks like an NFL tight end to me. For two. Virgil. Flushed out. And almost got it. Time as well. 16 yards on first down. Rich Rodriguez, his offense continues. Not an important drive here, late third quarter. Stacked up near the line is Phillips. Again, a carry to Phillips, but the holes are not there like they were earlier in this game. Second down, eight yards to go for the Rebs. Five-point lead. Corral on the run. Corral sandwiched at the line of scrimmage. Actually, a loss on the play. Ramos and Joshua Carr. Ramos, read and react. Again, RPO coming their way, and they just, let's take the quarterback. Ramos says, you're not going anywhere. We'll try a little end around here. And that'll go to Ely again. Somewhere in the neighborhood, the Bulls definitely have made an impact on players not doing that as much. As Snoop Connor gets his first carry. And quick. Launched upward. When you do that, it's going to be called 10 times out of 10. Second and goal. Phillips can't get out of an ankle tackle. Phillips bottled up at the line. For six here, but they converted the last two. Corral, shake and bake. Corral can't get 
any yardage. Tackled at the line. That's Ramos again. Alexis Ramos with two big plays on this drive. And Ole Miss. They've left some big plays out on the field today as well. They certainly have. After the penalty, they get it at the 35-yard line. Virgil on target to his favorite target, the tight end, Schwabel. Hey, what, Schwabel just has the, the mold of an NFL tight end and the productivity of one. I'm sure he'll get some looks from some scouts. On first down, Virgil rolling out, completes it. Nifty move. And a pickup of eight. On second down. Bouncing outside is Williams. And that should set up a third and short. Down. And it'll be Cole Kelly, the 6'7 quarterback, checking in. All 260 pounds of them will rumble to the 40 for a first down. And Southeastern Louisiana Lions really making th things happen, especially on third down. Take a look at tight end de Blasio. He ends up coming down and gives a free running lane to the quarterback, Cole Kelly. A crucial third down, and they're able to convert. On second down, Virgil has time. Uncorks a deep ball and a little bit over the outstretched arms of Austin Mitchell. SEC team. This has not been a dink and dunk attack. See what they dial up on third and nine. Four-man rush, swing pass in the flat. And not enough for Devontae Williams. Now it's that in-between territory out of the field. Game, if you're Ole Miss, you got to get organized and get lined up. Rebels showing blitz. Pass complete over the middle. When they don't go deep, they love the quick slant. Connor on the reception. They bring the house this time. Mike, they went cover zero. They blitzed everyone they could for takeaways. That has been huge for the Rebels. And now, if you're Southeastern, you've got to draw a punt. That was a play that could have been disastrous. But again, when you can zip it the way Corral can, you can make some good things happen. Clock ticking away, two and a half minutes remaining in this game. Back to the ground and dragged down for a loss of Snoop Connor, the freshman. But they really believe like they're building something special here. And Matt Luke, you won't find a more likable guy and a better fit for a program than Matt Luke is at Ole Miss. Not much doing on second down. Every snap matters. Every snap in this game mattered. And every snap is a building block for guys like Matt Corral and company as they get ready for the meteor part of that schedule. Oh no. Big time return, weaving his way into plus territory. Still on his feet. That's Petit Ferrer all the way down inside the 30 to the 27. Conference returner and all-purpose player in the Southland Conference. So it's not surprising that number five has had a day for himself as well. And he just keeps on driving his legs. It just makes it that much more difficult for Ole Miss. The final score, Matt Luke and company pick up their second win. And yeah, that looks, speaks a thousand words for Matt Luke, doesn't it? Really does. I mean, it's it's relief for one. And he knew he was in a dogfight with a very well-coached team from southeastern Louisiana. So hats off to the Lions and their program. Frank Selfo doing a nice job. And good for Ole Miss. They get an awfully young team.